Hey peeps, it's me, the original Queen Bee, coming back at you today with another fun and fabulous wreath project. You might notice that this buffalo burlap and this teal burlap looks familiar, especially if you have watched one of my other videos. And that's because I love this color combination. So yes, I am using it again to make a wreath. This time the wreath will be something fabulous for a teacher. I found this cute little um, wall decorative. You could actually sit it on the desk too, but guess what? I'm gonna use it in this wreath. As you can see, I've already attached the mesh, um, plastic mesh to the bottom of the frame. And this is where we will um, attach petals to the center. Um, but we are going to start on the center two right here of the four, the center two bars of this wreath form. So what we're gonna do is alternate um, the teal and the buffalo plaid. And we're going to create our, our flower petals by simply scrunching. And you do that by taking the short ends of your cut ribbon and then gathering them and then folding them up to form your petals. Now you start on the bar bracket, whatever you wanna call it. I call it the arm actually. And you secure your burlap down using the zip ties. Everybody has their own preference how they do things. Um, I actually love the zip ties. They're just, for me, the best way to um, securely get these pieces down and knowing that they are not going anywhere. I mean, you could use um, wire, you could use um, pipe cleaners, but I just like these. I just like it better, it's just more sturdy. And then you clip off your excess. Okay, some people work just around like this. I like to go in increments, so I'm gonna go to the other bracket, place my zip tie right here. Sometimes I call these wire ties, I don't know why. Gather up another piece of the buffalo plaid, make my little petal, and come down and secure it. Okay, now that we've got this part started, we're gonna start putting in the teal. Same method, scrunching the shorter ends, folding in, coming over with your wire ties. You see, I just called it a wire tie, zip tie, whatever you wanna call it. And putting those in between. The buffalo plaid. So I have finished the ring on the outside, alternating the teal with the buffalo plaid. And you can go in and then fluff a little bit. But no need to really worry about that right now because as you can see, I'm starting on the inside. 
which is why we need that plastic mesh center. And I'm going to go around just with the buffalo plait here. And you do that by putting your zip ties through the holes in that mesh. And it's the same process where you scrunch this is a scrunching process. So fun, isn't it? Scrunch and fold and lay down here. I come about mm, almost an inch, probably a little bit under an inch away from the frame with my zip tie. And you can see how that's starting to go. So if you can see, I'm coming in, it's about an inch and just weaving it through. There we go. And it's that same process going all the way around. And cutting off the excess. Alrighty, so I have now this ring completed and what I'm going to do is work on the center section and place some of the teal. Actually I'm going to do a teal piece here, 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 here and then fill in on either sides of those with the buffalo. Okay, now that we've finished the outer, the inner, the other inner, I have to do the exact center. And obviously we're running out of space to maneuver with the zip ties. So this is when we use our pipe cleaners and go in and just make some petals and stick through the center using the pipe cleaners. And to do that, we scrunch as usual. We take our pipe cleaner, come in, wrap that around, make sure it's nice and even and your petals are the way you want them. And then we twist. like so, and then we just go down in from the top through with our pipe cleaners and we pull, if you can see that, come to the other side and give it some good twisting. Great. Now we're going to put this on. And I think it's just going to be precious. It has this handy dandy um, hook 
on the back, which we're going to use our pipe cleaners to go through. That's the first thing. And that's easy to get that down there through that. Now, I'm not gonna want this to move around on here. And it probably wouldn't once I twist tied it, but I'm going to give it a little shot of hot glue on that area where the um, pipe cleaner meets the hook. And I'm going to, yes, this is my squeaky glue gun. And I'm just going to take and twist that on there just as a little extra added security. I'm also going to hot glue the, the arm down here and it'll give me another spot to go through with the pipe cleaner. Oh my, that is so annoying. Ugh. Oh, that's already catching, okay. Give that a good press. Let it set. See? That's not going anywhere. And then I can come through here as well with my pipe cleaner. So we're gonna go right down into the center, sort of map out where you want it to go. And I will go with the bottom ends first. And let's find another opening. Make sure that you're still where you want to be on the wreath. Yes. Over and go. Give it a few good twists. And you can come in on the top. It's already laying in there really securely, but I'm still going to do this part too. Okay, it's right where I want it. I'm going to secure it down. Lots of twists. What do you think? And you can add picks to this. I might get a little creative and put a couple additional um, pieces in here. I don't know if it's gonna be, you know, some picks or what, but this is the basis, the foundation for this wreath. And even just like this, it's fabulous. And here's the finished wreath. You can see I added some decoratives in there. I put a couple flower petal leaf um, with the burlap glued down to the corners, two corners of the frame, and I cut pieces of burlap and glued it to the frame. Yes, my friends, another look at this wreath. I thought I was finished, and as I've said before, sometimes we get inspired, and the project that we're working on is sometimes a work in progress for a little bit longer than we would have thought. So I simply got my acrylics, paintbrush, and I painted the leaves in. And that little thing, that one little thing that I did has tied this wreath together and now it is perfection in a most fabulous way. So again, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you're getting crafty. If you need me for anything, I would be happy to make your wreath just as fabulous as this one. Take care.